How do I build AI automations for my agency without doing anything? I'm going to go over that in this video, so please stick along. If you guys don't know me or this YouTube channel, my name is Brock Messerich, and this YouTube channel is designed for you guys to follow along with somebody in the beginning of their AI automation agency journey. I started my AI automation agency journey about two weeks ago, and I actually have my first client in the pipeline. And the reason I created this channel is so you guys could connect with somebody that's actually in your shoes. I am not an expert. I'm a complete beginner like I said I dove into this industry about two weeks ago I see an awesome opportunity in the AI automation agency space and I just want to document my journey of me starting because I think you guys could really connect with somebody that's in your shoes going through the exact same struggles that you guys are running into I want to be that person that you share your wins with you share your losses with you share your struggles with and guys I'm so happy that you guys are following along and in this video we are going to touch on why it is so easy to get started with an AI automation agency and it's even easier than you think it is trust me this is coming from somebody that just started their AI automation agency and I actually got my first client. So you guys are going to want to stick along this video. We're going to go over some very, very valuable points. And yeah, thank you guys so much. And I look forward to growing with you guys. If you guys have seen one of my last videos, you could actually see that I have got my first client in the door and we actually created a demo bot for him at the time of this recording. I'm actually going to talk you over my strategy and why I actually don't build any of my AI automations for my clients and why you guys shouldn't either. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that are telling you that you guys should be creating your deliverables. I've seen a bunch of tutorials out there about building your own chatbots for your clients. In my opinion, I think that's a waste of time and I'm gonna tell you exactly why I think that and why I'm applying this strategy to my agency. So here are the reasons why I am either going to partner with or hire a developer to build my automations for me. The first reason why I'm going to do that is because I just simply don't have the skills to develop these automations that I'm looking to build for my clients. And I know as things get more complex and I really start to charge people for high ticket automations, I am not going to have the skills to be able to deliver those. And I'd love to work with somebody who actually knows these things and is actually an expert who's able to deliver on these sort of things with absolute ease. Reason number two is because it will take way too much time for me to actually understand these technologies and to become an expert so I could actually deliver for my clients. I think my time is valuable and it's valuable when I am actually out there selling and bringing clients to the table and building my agency. I don't think my time is as valuable when I am actually building these automations or learning to build these AI automations for my clients. I think my time is more valuable than that. And that is why I'm going to outsource that or even partner with a developer because it's just not worth my time to figure out how to do it. Reason number three here is because it's simply not scalable for me to be building all these AI automations for my clients. If I were just building basic chatbots, and that's not the end goal. I don't wanna just be building chatbots for my, for my clients. I wanna be building full automations for them. And it's just not scalable. If I get five new clients in a week, how am I going to actually be able to deliver on these things? I think it's well worth it to hire somebody, even if you're taking a little bit less profit margin, but you're just going to actually deliver for your clients. And that's the goal of an agency and any business is to just really provide value for your clients. So ask yourself, what is the best way for me to actually provide real life value where they're going to see returns, whether they're going to buy back their time or they're going to make things more efficient? What is most valuable if you do these things or if you hire somebody who's an expert to do these things? One of the big points why I am not creating the actual automations myself is because it is not scalable. If you are looking at this from an agency perspective and you want to scale this to be a business where you're making $10,000, $20,000 a month and more, which is completely doable you aren't going to be able to make these AI automations yourself, especially if you're not just making basic chatbots. If you are making full scale automations, which is the goal in this industry, you're not going to be able to develop those things and really provide value to your clients as well as scale and take on more business as your agency grows. And this is something that I'm really trying to utilize in my business. I'm trying to outsource the things that don't require my attention. And if I could have a developer who understands these technologies and how to actually create these automations better than me, it is more worth it for me to hire somebody to do that or even partner with somebody who can fulfill these services rather than me trying to do that because it's just simply not scalable. And I know the whole point of having an agency is to scale. You want to turn this into something where you're making $50,000, $60,000 a month. And that's my goal. And I know I will not get there if I am creating these deliverables myself. So it's all about having that perspective of if I wish to grow and continue to scale, I can't expect to be doing everything myself. I need to focus on getting clients in the door and doing what I do best. However, if 
if you are a developer and that is your skill, then I think you should leverage those skills and you should bring value to the marketplace as a developer because you could either look to partner with somebody that is good at sales and marketing. I actually work with a developer now who created my first demo for my client and he doesn't like the marketing aspect. He likes actually creating and developing these bots. He loves building things. I'm not one to really like sitting at a computer and build things and write code. I just simply don't know how to do it and it doesn't appeal to me. And so I'm focusing on the things that I enjoy and the things that are best for my agency. And I suggest you guys do the same thing. Reason number four, and I already kind of talked about this a bit, but leverage the skills of someone who's already in this field and who is an expert in creating AI automation. I think it's really important to leverage your skills. So if you are good at sales and marketing or it's something that you enjoy doing, I think you should be the one doing that for your business. If you aren't, I suggest that you hire or partner with somebody that is good with developing so you don't have to learn how to do it and you don't have to deliver it yourself. Are you skilled at developing and creating these chatbots, but you don't like selling? Then I think you should partner with somebody who actually loves the business side of things and who is actually good at it. And I bring up these points, but you might be asking yourself, as did I in the beginning, where do I even find a developer? Where do I find a partner to do my marketing for me? And the answer to that is inside of Discord groups. And I actually have an amazing Discord group. It is called AI Agency Accelerator. There's a bunch of like-minded people from this channel who are looking to build AI automation agencies, whether it's developers, whether it's just entrepreneurs looking for the opportunity. But you could connect with so many people in there and you'll get so much value just bouncing ideas off each other. And who knows, you might actually find a partner for your business who could deliver on the services that you aren't able to do. Number five, instead of teaching myself, I'm going to go out there and get clients. Getting clients is really where the money is made, obviously. It may seem super obvious, but some of you guys are just searching YouTube and just going over things and trying to teach yourself how to create these chatbots and it's just procrastination. It's mental masturbation if you want to call it that and you're just too scared or you know I was too scared maybe to even go out and try to get my first client. It's really really important to just get a client in the door and then outsource from there and hire a developer who could deliver on the services. The best part about actually utilizing that ideology is that you are able to focus on actually going out there and getting clients. I know a lot of people and I had the same exact problem. This was my biggest problem about a week ago, a week and a half ago is I was just doing so much research and I wasn't doing anything that was really actually driving forward my agency. It's about going out there, getting clients. And then once you get a client, you could reverse engineer, you could hire somebody to develop things for you. You could hire somebody to present their deliverable for you, but just going out there and getting somebody in your sales pipeline is the best thing you could do. And it's the best thing that I personally did because it builds a confidence within you that, okay, this is a service that people need. This is a service that people want. And you just go out there, you put your money where your mouth is and you just do it. And I suggest you guys do the same thing. It was the best thing that I have done personally. So guys, thank you so much for following this video. I hope this gave you guys a lot of value. Obviously, as I say, I'm a complete beginner in the AI automation agency space, and I'm looking to grow my agency as are you guys. And I'm just happy that you guys could follow along. And I really hope I provide some value to you guys. So join my discord, like, comment, subscribe. I'll leave some links below with my resources as well as to join my discord. And guys, I look forward to continue growing our agencies together and I'll see you guys in the next video.